here with a staff scientist Steve Smith at the Science North Garden and can you tell me a little bit about this garden first of all? Sure absolutely so Science North grows a garden and it has multiple purposes uh, one of the main reasons that we grow a garden are for our animals so that we can feed the animals at Science North on the third floor in our northern ecosystems um, so we grow things like uh, lettuce, uh, beans, peas, giant pumpkins which uh, some of our animals actually like the giant pumpkin and the blooms they'll eat them it's nice for our our uh, food staff to come out and pick fresh stuff daily and then use it in our elements food court and they're proud of it because they have a big sign down there that says that this food has been grown uh, in the science north garden so it's kind of neat that's great and today we're here to learn a little more about the science of growing a giant pumpkin well, I've got giant pumpkins at home in my own garden and uh, I've got uh, a giant pumpkin that is double the size of this giant pumpkin here right now. It's, it's maturing a, a lot, it's, it's starting to turn orange now and the orange is the, the pigments that are being expressed in the pumpkin. So the, these orange pigments are what give the pumpkin its colors and it depends on the number, the amount of pigments in the pumpkin that will give it its orange color. This pumpkin is still white you can see yeah, that biologically yeah, so will, will it change yeah will it turn orange? yeah it will so we're looking in the next 10 days to two weeks you're gonna look you're gonna see some major major changes in this pumpkin how fast do giant pumpkins grow well they they grow at certain rates throughout the season but they can grow up to 30 pounds per day per day yeah so right now at this point the giant pumpkin that's uh, just to my right here it grew actually 12.61 pounds overnight so overnight in September this time of the year is, is pretty amazing I've got two giant pumpkins in the patch this year two different plants I'm growing one giant pumpkin on each plant and there's a reason for that the science you want to conserve all the energy into one fruit because you're maximizing the capacity of the energy the food um, photosynthesis and all these leaf surfaces which provide the energy for the food and the water you want to be able to get it all into just one fruit to, to really pack on um, the weight part of the reason why um, I'm growing the giant pumpkins is that they're they are the largest fruit on the planet and they're amazing to see but I also am encouraging people to grow giant pumpkins in northern Ontario and hope that more people will take it on and so in terms of growing giant pumpkins I'm going to give a couple of really good pieces of advice they do take a lot of time and care in terms of managing the vine and, and caring for the giant pumpkins because I had said earlier that they do have a primary vine and then secondary vines off of that so you want to make sure that you're trimming the vines and managing them so that at the end of the uh, at the end of the, the season you've got this beautiful plant that then can take all that energy and put it into the fruit the other factor is that they do take in a lot of water they drink a lot of water they like water and so don't underestimate how much water um, a giant pumpkin will take they will so anybody can grow giant pumpkins absolutely and don't underestimate your ability to grow something everyone can learn and uh, anybody can grow giant pumpkins weekend at the fall fair you're gonna see a field pumpkins you're gonna see giant pumpkins you're gonna see pumpkins of, of different shapes and sizes the tiniest pumpkin the largest pumpkin so it should be fun for more giant pumpkins you can see them this weekend at the Anderson Fall Fair and the morning north and science north pumpkins will be on display at dynamic earth for their Halloween event for northernlife.ca I'm Malika Villegas